music. Something that everyone interacts with on a near daily basis. You listen to it in the car, on your commute, or even in your free time. But what if the music that you listen to could make you feel things? Not emotionally, of course. That already happens. But what if they could make you feel things psychologically? Now just humor me for a couple of minutes. There is a theory that certain tones and sounds used within songs can invoke actual psychological feelings within the human brain. So with that, let's look into So, what exactly is a binaural beat? Well, according to Medical News Today, binaural beat therapy is an emerging form of sound wave therapy. It makes use of the fact that the right and left ear each receive a slightly different frequency tone, yet the brain perceives these as a single tone. Basically, sound waves under 1000 Hz can change the way that your brain works. So how exactly does this happen? Well, you see, by playing two very slightly different sounds in both ears, for instance, one ear gets 210 hertz, and the other gets 200. By playing both of these sounds at the same time through both of your ears, the brain will cancel out the 200 hertz from both sides, and your brain will only perceive the 10 hertz. This 10 hertz that's playing in your brain is what is considered a binaural beat. And there are four specific types of binaural beats that can alter the way your brain works. And they are as follows. Delta beats, which are anywhere from 0.5 to 4 hertz, help invoke sleep within the brain. There's also alpha beats, which are 7 hertz to 13 hertz, which can help invoke a sense of relaxation in the brain. Thirdly, there are beta beats, which are 13 hertz to 30 hertz, which help with concentration and alertness. And lastly, there are gamma beats, which are anywhere from 30 hertz to 50 hertz, which promote maintenance of arousal while a person is awake. Research gathered by Medical News Today suggests that there may be some benefits to using binaural beats in conjunction to conventional forms of therapy. However, most research also shows that there is little to no benefits when using binaural beats by themselves. Now with all that sciency stuff out of the way, we can't talk about binaural beats without mentioning... Lavender Town Syndrome is a creepypasta posted on Pastebin around 2010, stating that the old versions of Lavender Town caused the death of over 200 Japanese children. Symptoms of this supposed Lavender Town Syndrome only appeared in the first versions of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, around 1998. The actual symptoms of Lavender Town Syndrome were as follows. Listening to the song, would give you frequent nosebleeds, headaches, irrational anger and emotional outbursts, and all of these symptoms culminated in the person exposed to the song to perish by their own hand. Like most internet urban legends, people kept adding more to the story to make it more believable. People said that if you run it through a spectrogram, you would get pictures of the unknown, which said, leave now, although unknown weren't actually put in Pokemon until Gold and Silver. Like most internet urban legends, people kept adding more to the story to make it more believable. But the one version of this story that links it to the topic we're talking about in this video is the fact that originally the song included binaural beats to help invoke a sense of dread in the player, but an unforeseen consequence in the version of the song brought us to the story that we know of today. 
Obviously, the story of Lavender Town Syndrome is completely fiction, as all creepypastas are. But like all internet urban legends, some truth lies within the story itself. They did, however, use the same effect as binaural beats by playing two different tones in each sound channel. So children who did play those versions of Pokemon Red and Green with headphones on did experience headaches after listening to the Lavender Town song. Although, it's still interesting to talk about Lavender Town Syndrome as it's a nice segue into the last topic of this video. So there's one last thing I want to talk about, which is actually the crux of this whole video. While binaural beats are considered to be a type of therapy used in conjunction with conventional therapy, we have one group of people who take this stuff way too far. And that is the people who think that something like binaural beats can change the human body physically. Just typing in binaural beats into the YouTube search bar and rappelling down the YouTube videos some strange suggestions will peek out past the videos promising better sleep and relaxation. Videos like Attract Your Ex Back, Law of Attraction, Super Metabolism, Lose Weight While You Sleep, Astral Projection Binaural Beats Theta Realm, Gender Swap Subliminal, and lastly, Transformation into a Fox Subliminal Frequency Hypnosis Binaural Beats. Videos like these are getting over 10,000 views, with people in the comments stating how these videos help them achieve shape-shifting like powers or being able to get back with an X by listening to low frequencies. Obviously, none of these videos work at all. If they barely help people medically, then why are they doing these outlandish things for so many people? That brings us to a very easy answer, and that is placebo. Now, placebo, for those who don't remember or just haven't heard of the word before, it is the willingness to think that something is working despite it not. Placebos are most commonly used in drug tests. Patients are given fake pills comprised of entirely sugar and told that it is a new experimental drug. If the patient wholeheartedly believes that they are taking the drug, they'll sometimes report the positive effects from using it. But this can't be attributed to the drug itself because there was no drug to begin with. The person was just eating Smarties the entire time. People in the comments of these videos who completely think that they are experiencing the effects of these videos, well, the truth is that they aren't. It's all in their heads. Sure, they're experiencing the effects of the low frequencies, but it's not actually happening. If you think the videos work, they will. But if you think the videos don't work, then they won't. It's as simple as that. These videos are a form of hypnosis, which is just like placebo, but it's based off of the person encouraging you to think this way. That's why when a person is doing a live hypnosis show, they will always say, you have to believe in hypnosis for it to work. It's all just one big parlor trick. Even if I were to try these videos out, they wouldn't work because I don't believe that they would. And that is the history of binaural beats. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I hope you don't feel tricked or anything by the video itself. I like making content that's kind of like the C files, and if I want to keep that content going, I think the best idea is to rebrand the C files as the history of. I'm still going to do parodies and stuff like that, but I don't think Summoning Salt's going to be in that list anymore. But if you like the content that you're looking at right now, you can always subscribe. It's free, and if you don't want to subscribe anymore, you can always unsubscribe. And I guess while you're still here, you can always go into the comments and let me know what you think about this whole binaural beats thing. Do you think they're real? Do you think they're fake? Or do you think that they're just... For the crazy people who want to astral project by listening to beep boops at very low frequencies. 
If you want to keep up on tabs on me and see what I'm streaming or just talk to me, you can always join the Discord server, the link's in the description. Or if you want to support me and you would like to see more videos like this come out faster, you can always support me on Ko-fi, the link's also in the description there. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and thank you again for watching this and sticking with me so far.